Congressman, I was struck by this quote from you recently about how you and Congressman Colin Allred, a former NFL linebacker, were prepared to physically fight back on January the 6th. Quote, I took my jacket off and my tie because I said, you know what? If it's on, it's on. We're not going to be overrun by these seditious Trump supporters. And it's just going to be what is going to be. I have to ask all these months later, I mean, what was going through your mind that day? I know the Republicans want us to move on from January the 6th. But when I read a quote like that, I think about a senior House Democrat prepared to fight his way out of the legislature. Well, we really thought we were going to have to fight for our lives. Uh, it came at a point when Sergeant at Arms interrupted the proceedings and said, be prepared to hit the ground. Uh, the mob has breached the Capitol. They're a few feet from the chamber. Uh, and get ready to secure the gas masks that are underneath your chairs. I've been in the House at that point for eight years, had no idea there were gas masks in the chamber. But then, of course, Colin Allred is behind me, and he says to me, I don't know about you, Hakeem, but I'm not going down without a fight. And that's when the jackets came off. And if you ever find yourself in the middle of a violent insurrection, which I hope no one ever does moving forward, it's good to have a former NFL linebacker by your side. Thankfully. Uh, the Capitol Police found an exit route for us, uh, but it was a very dangerous situation, inspired, of course, by the former twice impeached corrupt president of the United States of America. We can never allow something yes. like that to ever happen. Again.